welcome to May's Log Life. I'm May, and this is a video of my first impression of the Skeeter Mini 2 convertible crossbody. Um, this is actually kind of more like my second impression, only because I already have a Mini Skeeter. I, this is a, a Mini Skeeter 2, um, or Skeeter Mini, is that what it is? Skeeter, Skeeter Mini 2, so I got the words mixed up, sorry. Um, but I already have one, so I have the original one. So I guess this is just a slight improvement. Um, and um, so I don't know if this is my first impression or not. But I remember when this first came out, because I did see them really, really fast. And again, I didn't look any further because I wanted to come and do this. But it looked like there were more colors. And I have a feeling they may have already sold out. So the price you see here is that Canadian QVC equivalency price. Um, so 27% off. Yeah, it's not bad. Um, but I have a feeling like magenta and sky must have been, you know, in this mix somewhere because it looks like the neons here. There's no way they would just release those three neon colors. It must have been like in lime green as well. So, um, I, like I said, I have a mini, sorry, I have a Skeeter mini already, but let's see if there's anything different between the mini two and the original one. So, um, so mini two is looking at the little description, the sequel to Skeeter mini designed with improved accessibility. This bag's a little bit more, a little more generous than the original. That's nice. Has a dropped zipper placement, folds open significantly more. I wonder what that means. Um, it's also got a clear view card ID window in the front plus RFID protection, which don't they all? Um, people love people love uh, Scooter Mini for its awesome versatility, easy portability, and now uh, we've added some little touches that we think you'll love even more. Okay, um, I may have to get one now. Crap, I kind of thought maybe I'd be safe because I already have one. Maybe I'm not. <laughs> um, okay, so dimensions four. I'm sorry, four point seven five. So four and three quarter inches wide. This way. And then seven and three quarter inches high and two and, and, and three quarter inches deep. That's really thick. That's quite big. Um, and the strap length is between 29 inches and 54.5 inches. And the shoulder drop strap, isn't that the same? Oh, I see. The length and the shoulder drop strap. Okay, sorry. And then the drop strap is 14 to 27. That's really good. That's really generous. Top handle one inch. And then the strap width is one inch. Oh, okay. So it's a one inch strap. Okay. So let's look at the colors. Now, obviously, I'm pretty positive these colors are all sold out. So that means I'm really late to the game here. That looks like like a, you know, those glow in the dark mini putt places. <laughs> like, doesn't that look like one of those neon mini putt laser places that you go to like that interior? Look at that. That looks like that's so that's so like trippy. That's so much fun. Um, OK, and then the yellow. Oh, so it's like a slightly different blue on the end. It's got the blue on the inside versus the orange, which looks like it has. Oh, maybe it is. Maybe it's just the way it looks in there. That's so trippy. Okay. And then the magenta. See, that interior looks so different in all these different colors. And then crimson large dot. Very classic. Oh, so it's got new quilting. I just realized. Wait a minute. Yeah, it's got new quilting. Because I know that mine has that sort of swirly uh, quilting on the outside. So that's a change. And butterfly gray, which is really probably one of the more popular ones. It's I think it's like the new flamingo black. Because <laughs> there was a time where everything was coming out in flamingo black and everyone was getting it. It was like probably their most popular one. Um, and it looks like flamingo gray. Flamingo gray. Sorry, I'm looking on to the next one already. Buffalo, but help. But that print. <laughs> Whatever that is, I'm not gonna say it. I'm not, it's not gonna come out. Um, is their new most popular one? So anyway, and then flamingo blue. That one I got. I love this print. I don't know why. It's so kitschy. I am not a flamingo person. I never was. I'm not like a tropics kind of gal. Like all that sort of Florida, Miami stuff. Never been a fan. I do not know why. I love this print so much. I think it's the blue. I think that blue is just so great and all those colors together, it just so totally, totally works. Um, and I have the, um, the peekaboo tote from the summer box from last year, and it's probably one of my absolute favorite bags. So I think anything that looks like that kind of reminds me of one of my favorite bags. So then I kind of want it. So maybe I do want this thing because I kind of like that. I just don't know where I'd use it. Um, I'd only be able to use it in certain places in the summer. Let's see what the inside looks like. Okay, so it's just that confetti sort of sprinkles interior, which I'm not a massive fan of, not generally a pink fan, um, but 
Anyways, it's totally fine. Oh, hang on. Look. So there's, ah, there's the list. <gasps> they had so many colors. Oh my gosh. And I missed out. Okay. This uh, screen is a bit high here. So let me bring that down. Sorry. Okay. So yeah. So the orange and the pink, or the magenta, rather the yellow all have the same interior. There's no lime and there's no sky. Huh? Okay. And so there's that purple the violet and so that has a different interior so this has the actual bright floral interior the other ones have the bright floral blue um, which I think that's more gray don't you think that's more gray than blue okay um, okay so that's what we saw we saw this one so there's the sand and the wildlife what tonal well that's what it's called and then the black and the chevron I like the chevron. I know a lot of people don't like the chevron. I really like it. I love this, that like, there's like a really dark teal in there. Um, and I kind of like the geometric shapes. Um, I actually prefer this over the, what is it called? The fern something or other, contemporary fern. I mean, I like that one too, but I prefer this one. And I also like this one because it's really gender neutral. Um, like I could let my man use this, for example, whereas I think the, the fern one, I think he wouldn't use just because the interior is a bit weird. And it came in paws navy. Oh, it's cute. Okay, that's fun. This is a great dog walking bag too. There's the butterfly that we just saw, camo taupe, which we didn't see, metallic silver with the sketch floral blush. Did not see that. That would have been fun. And it came in Kelly green. Okay. And it's actually bouquet yellow. So they basically switched that whole color scheme around. So usually the bouquet yellow has the sort of greeny interior. It's got that ditzy thing on the inside. And so they've swapped it around. So if you like those colors, you're going to love that whole line. And, and they're going to be really interchangeable, which is really fun. So if you actually have the bouquet yellow already, Getting the Kelly Green is going to give you that content, that sort of uh, complementary uh, colors, but they'll still all kind of match. Like, that's really cool. I really like that. It's a great idea. Heather Gray with the bandana print, which is really nice. They always come up with the Heather Gray. And then the Nautical Navy with the Striped Navy. Um, so, obviously, they've sold out of a ton of colors. So, there was what? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six left out of what? Shh. Okay, sorry. I, I'm so sorry. So far, so out of 15, that's a lot. That's a ton. I obviously did not get here in time, but luckily I think my favorite is going to be the flamingo. So I don't need anything else. Like I have a coupe in the, in this, I have, you know, all the other colors, but I think that flamingo, I might have to get that. Okay. Not the best price, still a little high, but it's not terrible. Um, let's look at this one, shall we? Ooh. Okay. It's really cute. Oh my God. I may have to get it. Okay, that is a bigger zipper. That zipper comes down a whole lot more. Like this is much longer. I do have one in the Buffalo Check Red. This is a tiny zipper. And I have to say that was my one complaint uh, about this one bag is that this is, the zippers were so short and the openings were so small that you really couldn't get anything in there. Um, even trying to get your hand in there with when there was stuff in it was a bit challenging. And I don't even have big hands, but like if it's really, really packed, uh, trying to get stuff in and out of there, like if you've really got a lot of stuff in there, it was a little bit difficult. So when I had like a wallet and um, what else did I have? There was once I was using it, I had a whole bunch of stuff like like lotion and bug spray and all sorts of stuff. It just kind of got really, really, really tight and trying to pull out my wallet was really difficult. Um, I was carrying a, a Rodeo 2 in there and it was, it was still hard to sort of pull out really easily. Anyway, so it looks like the zippers are a whole lot longer. So that's really good. Um, actually, wait, you know what? I have my, yes, my Skeeter's right here. Okay. Um, ta-da! Okay, <laughs> you can't see because it's, there's no light. Um, I've, I have all the light off, but there, there's, can you see the outline of a Skeeter? Maybe you can't. Okay. Um, actually, I can do a little quick, I can do a quick look at it right as we go. So, okay. So that's the back. That's the side. Okay. So, and this, yeah, the, the quilting is different for sure. But yeah, I'm looking at the zipper. That zipper is so much shorter on mine than this one. This, it looks like they've added like an inch, maybe two inches on the zipper. So it's a lot further down. And actually, you know what? This little, this little clip here is also higher up. So my zipper ends here and the other zipper ends here. And then the clip is just sort of 
it's just slightly below it. It's like about there. So it's, it's only got like an inch from the top and then the zippers here and the zippers here and then the actual stitching for the, for the D ring is actually a little higher up. So everything has come down a little bit and, um, it looks like they, I don't know if they've increased the zipper size on here that I can't tell. Um, it's hard to see. It might be the same. I think the front might be the same, but these ones are definitely, definitely longer. So that's a massive improvement. And I'm wondering if moving the D rings down would make it better or not, because mine's really high up. Um, anyway. Okay. So, um, so yeah, so the one improvement that I remember vividly thinking like, Oh, this is really difficult to get things in and out of. They did it. Um, so there we go. That's great. Okay, so let's look at the video and see if there's anything else that we can learn. Now, I'm not going to play the music because uh, if anyone's seen my previous videos, I got dinged. I got a copyright ding. Oh, look at them all. They're so cute. Um, when I played the music um, on on these lug videos. So anyways, I won't be ever playing that music again. So I just don't want to get copyrighted. But look at that cute little army of mini skeeters. They're so cute. <laughs> They all look like little dwarfs. They're so cute. Oh my God. They, I just, if I had them all, I think that's how I would display them. And it looks like they're all holding hands, doesn't it? <laughs> it looks like there's like a little, it's like the Care Bears of the lug world. Like they're all holding hands and they're all giving you like powers. I don't know. That just looks so cute together. A little family photo. Okay. Let's watch the video with no sound. You're just going to listen to me yammer. So that's the metallic. Silver. I never, I think I would have never liked this before I discovered top handles. Uh, there's a definitely a time in, in life where I would have hated this bag because of the top handle. Because I always used to hate the look of top handles. And now I'm so excited this stupid thing has a top handle. Okay. Okay, so there's a, that's the Rodeo 2. And that came out so easily. And that was the wallet I had in mind. So clear view, cool. Oh yay, she's got my favorite one in there. Oh, that's the Kelly green? It's not very Kelly. It looks lighter in that video. It almost looked like a, like a jade or something. Okay, so new stitching, new quilting. Okay, let's sort of look at this a little bit more carefully. Looks very nice in that with that outfit, especially knowing what that interior is. That pink sketch, was it pink floral sketch or something like that? I would never carry it like that. <laughs> I, I would lose that somewhere for sure. Always good to have that option. Okay, so she's got a pretty large phone in there. I don't know what that is, but it's uh, it looks like a big phone. So that's kind of sweet. Again very easy to pull out. That's really nice. So you can really, like really pull that whole flap opened and be able to access stuff. That's, that's a huge improvement. I'm so glad they made it. Cause that is, that is my one complaint that I've always had with my, with my Skeeter. So yeah, that opens so much easier. Hand sanitizer, wallet, clear view, lipstick. Okay. I may have to get that color. Okay, that, I mean, maybe it's just the way the light's shining off it. That does not look Kelly to me. That looks very teal? No. I don't know what color is that. Like like a darker sea foam? Is that a color? I don't know. But that doesn't look Kelly to me. Kelly is a very, very specific color. And um, that doesn't look Kelly. So I don't know, maybe it's just the lighting. But um, if I were like a real Kelly green fan, I would not be happy with this color. That's a bit more pastel -y. It's almost like a pearly color, isn't it? Camo, taupe. See, it looks, it looks a little bit more green there. Okay, that is the cutest picture. <laughs> They're so cute. You could like put little faces on there. Um, sorry. Okay, so looking at them all, um, I probably am going to get that uh, the flamingo if I get one. So now I just have to decide whether I should get one to date or wait because uh, I, I guess I should find out how many they have in stock. But um, so I'll probably do my little stock trick, my stock check trick tonight and see if the limited, if there's a really limited quantity, I may have to jump on it, but I really don't want to pay for shipping. So we'll see. Um, yeah, 45 is a good price, but I don't want to pay that much because it's basically a coupe, like a, like a north south coupe. 
Um, and I have a lot of coupes, but I don't have a coupe in this color. But I'm a little bit worried that they're going to come out with a coupe in this color. And then I'll be really upset that I didn't get a coupe. So I'm not sure. Like, they haven't released the coupes yet. The, the neon coupes haven't arrived. And I don't know if there's a flamingo blue coupe. But I would be very upset if I got this and then a flamingo blue coupe came out. Because they're kind of... To me, they're the kind of same kind of bag. Now, obviously, this carries a little bit more because it's a bigger, it's got an extra pocket. Um, but I think I would probably, me personally, would probably get a coupe because I love coupes and I have a bunch of them. And I think a little, I think a coupe in this print would be hilarious. So, although this one might be nicer because the quilting isn't quite so jaggedy, like you can really see the print on this with this quilting versus the other one, which is a little tighter quilt. Maybe I won't see it as well, or maybe, they, I don't know, maybe they're changing the, the, the quilt on the next generation of coupes. Who knows? But um, I don't know. I don't think I want to get it just yet, but I guess I'll have to see it. If there's like 10 left, I may have to get it. Um, but I'm hoping there's like 200 <laughs> so that I can just wait a little while and then see... If there's, because I mean, apparently the coupes are coming. Obviously, they're really, really late. But if they're on their way, I don't really have to, I don't want to have to return this thing. I don't want to pay for the shipping and the whatever fees to return anything. So I, I don't know. I'm really torn. Anyways, okay. I'm thinking out loud. I'm sorry. Um, but um, yeah, my first impression is excellent, excellent, excellent move on the adjusting the zipper size. Excellent, excellent move at trying to put the, um, you know, trying to make this little D ring maybe a little bit lower because I think that might actually make it balance a little bit better as well. Because mine is a little because it's it's all at the top, so it kind of swings a little bit. Um, it, that might give it a little bit more balance or might give it worse. I'm actually not sure. I don't know what the physics of that, but um, so I so I shouldn't say that that was a great move, but it was it is an interesting move. But the greatest move really is that zipper. That is exactly what this bag needed. Um, and, uh, I'm a little bit sad that my other ones don't have that. Now, I'm not a massive, massive fan of that quilting. It's nice, and when, when you've got, like, a really busy print like that, you really can't see it, so it's great. But when, when you've got, like, something plain, it does make it very gender neutral, though, so that's great. So, um, I would have loved to have gotten that black one, maybe, for the guy in my life. Um, but I kind of like my other one. I, I do like the swirly um, quilt on mine. So, um, and I've got the Buffalo check red. So I don't know. I, I, I think I'm a little bit torn on this one, but this, at least this quilting matches my, um, that matches the, um, Rodeo twos. So actually, you know what I would have loved? I probably would have gotten one for sure if it came out in Navy. Um, I'm a little sad that there, there's no Navy, right? No, no. The closest thing is that, uh, nautical Navy, which I don't, I'm not really into. So, um, but yeah, if they if they come out with one in navy, it would have perfectly matched my rodeo too, and I would have been pretty happy about it. Um, and uh, yeah, I can't, I do like it. I'm not saying I don't like it. I just don't know if I'm gonna pay forty six dollars for it right now. But maybe I will, cause that flamingo blue man, that's pretty darn cute. <laughs> All right. Anyway, so yeah, so my first impression is great color release. Um, all the colors they came out with this this time around amazing um obviously people agree because they've all been almost all of them are sold out uh i'm very glad that at least the one that i really want has not just yet is, is still not quite sold out but obviously this was a hit and i'm assuming they're sold out on qvc as well so we'll see okay so colors were great the interiors were fun shape is they didn't change it they didn't change the most important parts but they did change the parts that were the most problem they so they gave the most problems so this is a win so yay to lug this was a good this was a good move and oh god i really want that one okay gotta think about this so i have a few things to think about so i've looked at the strut i might have to get that new strut and there might i may have to get the new mini skeeter so maybe between the two i can actually get free shipping oh, i really should not be buying more bags damn it <laughs> sorry for anybody who's really upset if I, they just swore um anyway so there we go that's it for now so that was my first impression of the skeeter mini 2 convertible crossbody tell me if you're getting one tell me if you got uh if if you uh, got one of the dis discontinued sorry one of the um colors that are gone like one of the sold out colors 
Um, and I don't know, I guess has, has enough time gone by that you guys are starting to get them already? I don't remember when this came out. Um, I wasn't going to do, you know, this, this video because I just figured it'd be the same thing, but now I'm looking at it, I'm actually glad I did because there was a feature that they changed. So I'd love to find out which colors you got and uh, how many you got and what you think of the new, of the new sort of design. So that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you next time.